error so far for the Redbirds. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Giving chase is Nimmo. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Around second now and headed all for right, third. Right, see here, see here, see here. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. So just like that, there's a runner at third with two away as we give you a look there at the league leaders in triples. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Mega! To a hundred nigga real quick They be on that rap to pay the bill shit And I don't feel that shit, not even a little bit Oh lord, know yourself, know your worth nigga My actions being louder than my words nigga How you so I but still so down to earth nigga Niggas won't do it, we can do it on the turf nigga Oh lord I'm the rookie in the vet. Shout out to the bitches I ain't holding down the set. All up in my phone looking at pictures from the other night. She gon' be upset if she keeps scrolling to the left, dog. She gon' see some shit that she don't wanna see. She ain't ready for it. If I ain't the greatest, then I'm headed for it. Yeah, that mean I'm way up. Yeah, the six ain't friendly, but that's where I lay up. This shit a motherfucking lay up. I been Steph Curry with the shot. Been cooking with the sauce. Chef Curry with the pot, boy. 360 with the wrist, boy. Hey, who the fuck them niggas is, boy? OVO, man, we really with the shits, boy. Yeah, really with the shits. I should probably sign a hit, boy, cause I got all the hits, boy. Yeah. Fuck all that Drake, you gotta chill shit. I be on my little mouse drill shit. Fuck all that rap to pay your bill shit. Yeah, I'm on some rappers pay my bill shit. All up on TV, I thought it made me richer. Wasn't paying me enough, I needed something quicker. So now I'm all in Nico basement putting working on the phones. Either that or just money more to make the pickups. Man, it's 2008, I'm trying to paint the picture. Comeback season in the works, and now I'm thinking bigger. I got 40 in the studio every night, late night. Gotta watch that shit, don't wanna make them sicker. That's my nigga, oh lord. Got a whole lot to show for it. I mean, we could really get it, we could go for it. I'm just here for the bucks and the billies, nigga. From the borough of Queens, we're at the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Mets. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business. Two guys that throw a lot of strikes, but their game is on. We should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. Peterson gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's a fun guy to watch pitch. Not necessarily an overpowering guy. Has an ERA in the low threes. But one thing he knows how to do, he knows how to pitch and he knows how to minimize damage. If you're going to have an ERA in the low threes in this day and age, you're doing a lot of things right. And this guy should be fun to watch in this one. First pitch on the way. Mario Terra is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1 0. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't. One series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings, and this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. Hey, your pitch, drive it deep, huh? Here you go. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The 2-1 home is in there for the second strike. 
Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2 2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3 2. McNeil into shallow center. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Now with the plate is Dominic Schmidt. He'll be looking for better results in this one. He was 0 for 4 in the ball game back on Sunday. Here now the 2 2. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second can't out. Hold, hold. No so stepping in is James McCann. As you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood in it. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Terrell patrolling center makes the play one out. Now it'll be Mario Terrell flew out last time up. Mario Terrell. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Wind up and the 0 1. Ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Two balls and a strike now. Aye. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. That is not the way he wanted to start off this half inning. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Looking for the punch out and the offering. Right to him. The second for one. On to first. The double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball.
next it'll be Mario Terrell. The center field. Mario Terrell. First delivery to him. Nope, that's down. Boy. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the oh, bunt right guy. here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. Trying to check his swing there, but did he go around? He did, says Kenny Jansen at first. Strike one. Here's the one and one pitch. Ball two. One run on three hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Giving chase is Nimmo. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Around second now and headed for right, third. Right, see here, see here, see here. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. So just like that, there's a runner at third with two away as we give you a look there at the league leaders in triples. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Dig in. Harrison Bader, runner in scoring position with Sudan. It's a 5 1 game here in inning number five. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. No damage done after the two out triple. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. It's a swinging strike. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old police act and climb the ladder. Hold strike two with the letters. 0 and 2 now. Hey, boys, he's lucky he's getting this pitch back right here. That's normally a wipeout pitch down and away. He hung that one. It looked like he almost confused the hitter. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Four runs, six hits. One error for the Cardinals to this point. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Three at bats to this point. Here comes the 0 1. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Mets leave one. They hold on to a 5 4 lead. to bat will be Mario Terrell. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. From the stretch. Hopped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he lays off for ball one.
count moves to a ball and two strikes now. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Two and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Cardinals down to their final strike here. And he struck him out for round number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible time run stranded at first. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4, the final tally. The New York Mets get their division-leading 30th win of the year. David Peterson earned his fifth win of the year. Zach Gallen was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Seth Lugo hammers down the save, his 16th of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. To St. Louis, four runs on nine hits. One error, they left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at City Field. 41,922. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please get home safely. Casey, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the... keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Now to the plate, here is Mario Terrell. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Let's go, kid. Here we go. The center fielder, number 21. First pitch of the A-B now. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, well, they've been on a pretty good roll of late. Winners of seven of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't. One series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings, and this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. Temperature here at game time, 61 degrees. Two balls That's and a, a strike ball. to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. A curveball 
hit right back at him. And he'll flip on the first to record the out. Francisco Lindor to the plate. The wind up and the 0-1. Into center field, line drive base hit. No runner, no runner. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Next to hit, Mario Terrell grounded out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. No, but fastball no, inside, take, ball one. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Two balls and no strikes to the Cardinals center fielder. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball. Here's a fly ball well hit. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Down in order go the Cardinals. Home half of the third coming up. No score. I better get with it. She's coming. If I want to keep alive, baby, she'll want it. Stepping up is James McCann. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Now the three and two pitch. High and deep to right center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. Bottom of the inning now, and next will be the pitcher, Joey Lucchese. No pitcher. Joey Lucchese. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Terrell is right there, one down. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Mario Terrell. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Here's the pitch. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. Hey, and when that's the, the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Easy oh, take there on the sinker well off the outside. Breaking ball. Oh, third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and into bed next will be J.D. Davis. The first baseman, J.D. Davis. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. 
He's there and records the first down. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Digging in will be Vladimir Guerrero Jr. singled in his last at bat. One one. Lifted in the air to center field. Center fielder on the run. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it four to nothing. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Lifted in the air out to center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're in front four to nothing. Ow. Three. So now to the plate, Mario Terrell. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Come on, let's fly right here. First pitch of the A-B now. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Take a risk, like you can. Here you go, baby. Hit in the air down the right field line. Carlson gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They're down four nothing. score tonight the Metropolitans claim the victory despite being held to only three hits Joey Lucchese earned his fifth win of the year Kwang Young Kim takes the loss only his first of the year so that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our whole crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more head to the show.com for St. Louis, no run, three hits, no error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. This is sweet. Tonight's paid attendance at City Field, 41,922. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please get home safely. No one trusts the ball with the nine million in the mouth. We get a six round swimming in the house. Well, Texas and Phillies in the house. Jack Fins on the chili in the house. And a welcome to City Field in New York's National League Ballpark in Flushing, Queens. Today, a matchup of a pair of first place teams between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Mets.
Next ball on the show is next. Marcus Stroman, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, this guy also uses that pitch that's kind of in vogue in the game now, that cutter. It looks to the hitter like a four-seam fastball, and the next thing you know, it's running in on you. Mariano Rivera used that pitch exclusively in the ninth inning and broke a lot of bats, and this guy joins a long list of guys that have added the cutter to his repertoire. And now in the box, Mario Terrell. He will lead this one off today. Good drive. Let's go right here. Now here's the first offering. And we are underway here in Flushing as the first pitch of the afternoon is taken for ball one. These Mets fellas as they take the field here today they come in off another victory last time out and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah Maddie taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're to find the ball around nine it. games got the advantage. You don't. One series yeah, yeah, isn't great going job right to there. totally up kill on that you in the standings, and this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of middle down in the zone, D. Rowan. He's going to have to make some better pitches than that one. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. Got it, got it. Striding in is Jake Cronenworth, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Swing and a liner, and that's in there. Base Make hit. the turn, pick up the ball. And this throw gets away from him. Got a boy when you got base. At this level, better. you got to have unbelievable hand-eye coordination. And that pitch wasn't even in the zone, and he was able to get perfect wood on that baseball. So now here is Nolan Arenado looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Hey, what time? Right now. The throw behind the runner at second and a dive, but he's back. Terrell on second, Cronenworth at first with no outs. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn. Go, 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 go. The second for one. On the first, and they get them both. Now what you expect from your three-hole hitter when the first two guys get on base, that's pretty deflating. But now we'll see if the cleanup guy can still pick up the runner at third. Cardinals number four hitter Tyler O'Neill, runner in scoring position with two gone. Slider rips gone for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Arch lead one, Cardinals zero. Mets coming to bat. It's a rematch of the 2006 NLCS, and it's on the show. Into the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And there you see his righty lefty splits, and now they've played out so far this season. Bottom of the second here with no score. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. No runner, come home. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. Doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat the ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, Dero, being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys.
next to bat for St. Louis, Mario Terrell. He singled in his first A.B. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Got him to reach out of the zone for that one, strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Yeah, let's go. Now you got this. Popped up. Davis into foul territory. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes the one-two. Ball, that's out. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Skied into straightaway right. Carlson is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. He's out. And now here is Dylan Carlson. He comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. Swing and a liner. Terrell is there and he has it for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there. Next to hit is Mario Terrell. He flew out in his last A.B. Mario Terrell. There we go. Let's go. Hey, your pitch. See it. First pitch on its way. Oh, and start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. Oh. Let her rip. Let her rip. Two balls and no it's strikes back. to the Cardinals oh, center fielder. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Right too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And remember here, there's an open base at first, so a walk is not the worst thing that could happen right here. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now, three and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Ready with the payoff pitch. The bouncer to the left side. All right, hold it here, hold it here. On the first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Hard strand a couple. Halfway home, still no score. center field. Terrell will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So stepping in is Brandon Nimmo trying here to plate the tying run from second. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Terrell will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Mets strand one. They still trail one nothing.
now at the plate, Mario Terrell. He bounced out last time up. Mario Terrell. First delivery to him. Back up the middle and find in it, for a base it. hit. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Now to the plate, Jake Cronenworth. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Bounce it to the left side. You're up, you're up, you're up. And the two-out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Hard strand a couple, but they're up one to nothing. Singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. First pitch on its way. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. One and one to count. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Grounded back up the middle. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Hey, not a bad way to start the new month, D-Roll. How about after that single? That's his third hit of this game. Oh, that has to make you feel good. You see that calendar flip, and you got three knocks in your back pocket. And at the plate is Jake Cronenworth. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. Now the 0-1. Into center field, and that's going to get down on, for the base. Go hard, go hard. He's on his way home. He scores as they extend the lead to 5-0. Great job. So next to bat will be Nolan Arenado. He's working on a one for three thus far. All right, one more time, right here. Now the 0 1. High pop up. Lindor is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Tyler O'Neill, and their runners at the corners now. Here's a look over the first, and he's back in standing. Hey, wait for your pitch rep there, huh? Here it comes on nothing and two. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game, so they were never really in a position to even challenge him. Rock solid win and a memorable performance. 6 0, the final shutout score today. The St. Louis Cardinals wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Miles Michaelis earns his sixth winning decision in this one as he allows only two hits over nine full Our innings. Marcus Stroman is saddled with a loss after giving up only one earn. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Flezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. The winning pitcher is Miles Michaelis. His record is now six and one.